Well, it all started um, at the age of 18 when I went off to live and work in the bush permanently. The water hole, well, the water hole is kind of the story that made me famous. Uh, about seven years ago, I jumped inside a water hole and I sat inside the water with just my head and my camera above the water to get shots of endangered free-ranging lion on the floor of Kenya's Great Rift Valley. It took me 16 months to get the first photographs, but shortly thereafter, one of the mothers brought all seven cubs in to drink right in front of me. And I kind of took that as a sign that these lions have got to know me and accept and trust me. So I went back this year, February, and I went um, looking for the lions that are now on my book cover as well. So I'm running a safari back there with Wild Eye, and um, we are taking people back to that special area. And people can now join me going back to the Rift Valley to photograph not just the lions, but the landscape and um, the culture as well. I think what makes uh, my work stand out is that from the from the very beginning, from day one, I've only photographed the things that I'm passionate about and I've done that in as uncompromised a way as possible. So I've always photographed what I love and I've photographed it the way I love to do it. Um, I haven't um, kind of allowed my style to be moulded by the sort of industry or by the opinion of my peers. Well, I won um, the Wildlife Photographer of the Year 2013. I'm the 49th photographer to win this prestigious award. And I'm incredibly chuffed because this is um, a big international um, award and it's the most coveted title in world wildlife photography. And it's basically, it's, I, I can't even say it's a dream come true because I never dreamt this big. Well, that was um, shot from a hide in Botswana's Mashati Game Reserve. And I used a wide angle lens and I tilted that up as well as a slow shutter speed and a flash to create that kind of mystical mood and atmosphere. The next project I would like to take on is I'd like to write a book because I've I now I've published a book showing my photographs. I'd now like to write a book about the stories behind my photographs, the people I've met, the places I've gone, all the adventures I've had, um, things like that. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.